Hey folks, let's do a reading of the Higgledy Almanac. Rinsible the Righteous, the first Higgledy Auntie Martha ever cooked up in her cauldron. She dotes on Rinsible and treats him as if he were her son, which means she was very proud when he joined Evan on his adventure. His natty scarf helps him stand out from the crowd. Humdrum the Heroic, a Higgledy born from the unquenchable thirst for adventure of a certain interpret explorer. Humdrum manages to make a mess out of most of his expeditions, but that never stops him from embarking on new ones. He can't quite recall where, when, when he got impaled by that sword. Fidget the Festive, a certain jolly old chap who, who delighted in bringing presents to, ch to children dropped one in the snow, and from it was born this friendly Higgledy. For Fidget, every day's a holiday, and he rides about on his sleigh giving festive greetings to all, to all in sun-dry. Hurdy the Handy, a master ironworker put his heart and soul into making the most magnificent screw the world has ever seen, and from his spirit was born this Higgledy. Hurdy has deep affinity with all things twisty, and has been known to spend hours gazing fondly at swirly apples. Uncommon... Oh, goodness. Some of these names are going to mess me up, by the way. Uncommon the Uncommon. A Higgledy enigma wrapped in a mystery, rolled up in an impenetrable conundrum, and steeped in secrecy. Very little else can be said about him. Motley the Menace, a mischievous Higgledy who has long plagued the good folks of Ding Dong Dell by sneaking into their houses late at night and putting spoons in the knife drawers, hiding slippers, and generally making a nuisance of himself. Hip the Peregrinator, a footloose and fancy-free Higgledy born from a, y a young man's desire to visit unknown worlds. Hip travels the world ceaselessly, from arid deserts to icy tundras and back again. But if he, he was honest, he'd admit he's been feeling little, uh, a little settled down for a while. Feeling like settled down for, settling down for a while. Brabjos the Fusslier. A Higgledy born from the sort of a feigned military tactician. Brabjos um, himself is no, is, no good, is no great strategist, but he is, fearsome of, of, um, he is a fearsome fighter who never admits defeat. His sheer pluck makes him a great ally on the battlefield. Bobby the Bandit. A Higgledy born from the dream of an aspiring writer who was planning a novel about a daring thief. Sadly, Bobby is far too clumsy to be considered a master criminal, but he does manage to, uh, to just about make a, make a living as a treasure hunter. Papa the Peer. When he's with his dashing goggles, Papa looks every inch of airborne sensation. In fact, his feeble wings are far too weak to keep him afloat for long. He's desperate to train himself up to be able to take, uh, take to the skies, but so far it's proven, it's proved a bit beyond him. Minzy the Magnificent, an adorable Higgledy who's readily identified by her big red ribbon. She was born from a young girl's desire to be a fashion icon, and while she uh, she may look lovable, don't be fooled with Mimsy when Mimsy hit you. You st you uh you st wait, don't be fooled when Mimsy hit you. You st you stay hit. <laughs> I get it. Crumbobless the Cryptic. A Higgledy born from a young ma boy's yearnings to, to write award-winning detective novels. He may look the part, but Crumbumlian's sleuthing skills are severely limited. He's what you might call a defective detective. Boodles the Beastly. Born from the heart of a fierce beast who commanded a vast army of hedgehounds and, qui and quiverines. This uncouth chap doesn't think of himself as a Higgledy at all. He claims to be a wild animal, and while he may not have fangs or claws, he wields a mean spear. Emblongus the Alarming, a Higgledy who wears a cursed mask that is said to bring disaster. He was born from the spirit of an ancient sorcerer who dabbled in the darkest of magics. But he, um, he's actually quite a cheerful chap. Sadly, he has a bad habit of cursing people when they try to be friendly. Ugh. Bosswas the Bruiser, centuries ago a certain tribe was under siege. Their village was burned to the ground, but they refused to surrender. This Higgledy was born of that un unbending spirit, and will always sacrifice himself to protect others. Galumph the Grand, a Higgledy born from the spirit of a legendary mil uh, military commander who fought in the, civil, in the civil wars that plagued the world centuries ago. The gold ornament on his head, yeah, the gold ornamentation on his head is a lucky charm that guarantees victory. He can throw a spear with unparalleled power. Claptrack the, kings, the Kingly, a legendary Higgledy who, whose origins remain a mystery, experts in spritecraft has claimed that he may be the spirit of a mighty warrior who never lost a battle. What's certain is that he appears in time of, sti of uh, strife, hell-bent on bringing peace back to the world. Whiffwaff the Rafty, a scatterbrained Higgledy who has a habit of falling over and getting stuck in holes. 
Evan was by no means the first person who to help uh, with Wath out in a tight spot. Filigree the Flighty The spirit of a, si of a single fallen leaf in Cloud Cola Canyon took the form of a Higgledy, who was then carried by the wind across the world. Filigree and Giddy the Gusty are old friends, and often discuss the merits of having, uh, having a leafy head. Twiggy the Twisty Twiggy was born from the wonders of the first breath taken by all living things. The branch on his head is still growing, it will eventually produce beautiful leaves that, um, that will stand as a true testament to nature's bounty. Aberdab the Aviator, Aviator, sorry, an elusive Higgledy who's uh, liable to vanish as sudden as he appears. When uh, he's not part of a Higgledy battalion, he's off visiting some far-flung corner of the world. This may be thanks to an unquenchable spirit of adventure, or a terrible sense of direction. Flapwaggle the Feathery, I love these names. Flapwaggle was born from a bird's wings and is always happy just to ride the wind and see where he ends up. He may be a free spirit, but when in battle begins, he obeys his orders to, um, to the letter, and is more than happy to roll his sleeves up and, and get involved. Swirlium the Conqueror A higgledy born from the love of uh, the love of people have her in the natural world. Swirlium is a gentle soul, but the spiky chest on his head keeps other higgledies at bay. Not everyone avoids him, though. Farmers often pray to, hel um, pray to him to improve their harvest. Member of the Meanderer this windy fellow is a believed is a believed to be able to whip up storms at sea whenever he wants. Fortunately, he is very gentle, but prefers not to make use of his powers. His favorite uh, pastime is lying on his back and counting the clouds as they float by on the breeze. Geyer the Flyer, a higgledy born from the sheer power of a gale force wind, as his name suggests, he's a very speedy. He's very speedy indeed, and can always beat a hasty retreat when a, when a battle isn't going his way. Likes to join sky pirates and their skimmers for um, for the occasional spin. Giddy the Gusty. A leaf on his head changes colors with the, with the seasons. Someone once asked him if, um, if he was uh, Filigree the, the Flighty's twin, and it annoyed, annoyed him so much that he ate his leaf, and loudly declared that he didn't know what, uh, what, what they were on about. Her, her to her, the, uh, the Voltiger. Um, his fellow Wind Higgledies are a laid-back bunch, but Herdiger tries his best to be prime and proper. He has a major soft spot for all things round, and can be spent hours watching a ball of yarn rolling around. Sir Pipple the Whipper, a higgledy born from the legendary Night Shield, he took a, um, he he took after his chivalrous or originator, and is and has dedicated himself wholeheartedly to the, the defense of honor and the pursuit of purity. He will now not bow to others and always pursues his own path. Bumblebiz the Blowy. A caring Higgledy who protects his buds that are about to blossom. He flies through the, um, through the spring sky searching for them, and if he spots any that are struggling, he casts a health-giving spell to, uh, to help them out. Spends his evenings building bonfires for those he can't save? Oh my goodness! <laughs> a fish the offish. Born from an ancient shaman's mask um, which witnessed terrible tragedies and great joy, it's believed that the offish himself that it was Uffish himself who originally taught humans to um, the spirit medium spell, though his, uh, the, truth of, the truth of this, like everything else about him, is hard to know for sure. Larrakan the Leafy, a higgledy whose frail mass symbolizes the passing of the seasons and the tra transcendence of all living things. He is believed to be the reincarnation of an ancient sorcerer, and is probably the most somber of all, of all higgledies. Tears often drips from beneath the leaf. Flippity the Fluttery, a higgledy born from the love of all sky pirates, um, the love all sky pirates have for the wind. He is believed to have modeled his look on, on the on the certain sky pirate chieftain. Oh my goodness, he does look like Batu. <laughs> That's funny. He's never without his trusty bandana and travels wherever the wind takes him, always ready for adventure. Oh my Gubble the Gale Force! I always forget this one's glowing eyes. A Higgledine who has existed ever, um, ever since the dawn of time. He's believed to have been given form by the primordial plasma that flowed in the ancient air. Whenever he flies, he leaves a trail of vivid lightning in his wake. Gosky the Grenade If ever a candle goes out suddenly for no good reason, you can guarantee that, the, um, that this chap had a hand in it. If you're pure-hearted enough to be able to, uh, to, be able to see Higgledies, maybe you'll spot Gosky fleeing the scene, to his trademark -studded, the scene in his trademark-studded collar. Bodom the Bombastic. He sprang out of a volcano fully formed in a, dram a dramatic burst of lava. When Bodom gets worked up, he makes magma, which can, uh, which can cause volcano spikes in his head to melt a bit. But when, uh, when, he may 
While he may be hot-headed, hot -headed, he's very protective of younger Higgledies in battle. Scrobius the Rash A Higgledy born from the flames under a pot of delicious stew. Scrobius is obsessed with things being cooked at, at just the right temperature, and can often be found in the kitchen glaring at ovens. The screw on his head gets looser the more annoyed he gets. Top Turvy the Testy Brought into being by a stray spark from the high-powered dynamo in Broadleaf, Top Turvy is very emotional. Is a is very emotionally highly strung, and frequently drives himself into smoldering mess. Um, into a smoldering mess, trying to express himself. He avoids sad stories as they make him his fire fade. Fumi is the flammable, a higgledy who embodies the fiery power of nature in 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 all its volcanic erupting spouting glory. It's believed he came into being after an ancient kingmaker of Ding Dong Dell breathed pure flame, but it, his ability to use fire magic himself makes him seem unlikely. Noel the Coal Fired. A highly responsible Higgledy, Noel likes to make sure that fire, um, that fire does not get out of control. He inspects homes to make sure matches are hidden away from children, and that there's a bucket of water handy in case anything catches, catches light. Burrogove the Burning. In ancient times, there was a tribe that worshipped fiery Higgledies almost exclusively. Burrogove was especially revered as, as, um, as a bringer of knowledge. What he taught his, that tribe can be discovered among the dusty tomes in the Library of Goldpaw. Grave the Glower, uh, the glow, glowering, yeah. If ever you feel resentment, envy, or anger burning your heart, it may be the work of, of Garb. Um, that is Garb. Grabe? I don't know. <laughs> he has a way of, of, a, of stoking people's le least attractive emotions until they become a blazing inferno. Bandersnatch the Blazer. Bandersnatch embodies the passion and high spirit of youth. When, uh, when people are filled with emotion, but it, um, be it love or pride or ambition, he grows more powerful, but when they're downhearted or, or dismayed, he gets weaker. Tea Kettle the Toasty. When the factory facilities were being built in Broadleaf, Zip Vector ordered that, the, that an ancient stove statue to, um, dedicated to the Higgledies be preserved. Tea Kettle is a spirit who dwelt in the statue, and, is har hardly, and he hardly approves of the uh, invocations Broadleaf went on to achieve. Snickersnack the Searing. Born from the sword of a chivalrous knight, Snickerstack burns up with the passion for justice. In truth, he takes himself a little too seriously and can be a bit of a pain to be around, though, him and, though he and Sir Pipple and Whipper are, fi are firm friends. Bantam the Ruxious It's believed that Bantam was brought into being when a, na when a naughty school child dabbling in magic accidentally unleashed a fireball at, his, at their teacher. He likes the, to cause as much trouble as he can, and is constantly playing tricks on the more straight-laced companions. Tinder the Torch A higgledy born from the ferocious temper of a grumpy old man. Tinder has a, has a short fuse too, and you can tell how angry he is at any moment by how high the flame on his head is flickering. When he isn't irritated about something, he's actually perfectly nice. Slingby the Scorcher Or as I call it, uh, the Higgledy with the fire clipping through its through its helmet. <laughs> the story goes that there was once a vicious bandit who fell in love with a, with a simple and kind country girl and discovered he had a heart after all. Slingsby was um was surprisingly born from the bandit's un unabashed affection, but no one knows if this tale is true. Styrup the Smelter. Born from a crucible of, of a furnace where magic crystals were being smelted, Stirrup um, now has a fierce fire burning constantly in his, head, in his heavy duty headgear. It's safe to say he can withstand high, high temperatures, as he has no problem staying out of the sun. War Wamble the Warm. It's said that a legendary emperor, uh, emperor perished in a fire and was reborn as this hot headed Higgledy. As, as benefit, a na a, yeah. As Befits a, na a natural leader of men, Wormble has rather high optimal opinion of himself, and loves nothing more than a good scrape. His, f um, his flaming spear is to be feared. Let me take a drink of water real quick. Oh, I love this one. Vorpal the Volcanic A legendary Higgledy about whom people have uh, speculated since the dawn of time. Some believe him to be an ancient dragon in Higgledy form, but all, uh, but all anyone can ever be sure of is that he knows how to make an entrance of his swirling smoke and ferocious flames. Brocken the Briny, a higgledy born of a swirling sea grass, uh, when, uh, when a swirling sea glass was imbued of the power of life. He can still be seen dancing wildly by the shore of his helpers, and apparently you can tell what kind of mood they're in based on, based on their moods.
moves. Shilly Shally the Shy. Shilly Shally was born from a pool of pierced water, and as such is obsessed with cleanliness. He washes the leaf on his head every morning, replaces it with a new one every week. He gets sad if other Higglies don't like the leaves he picks. Skiff the Skewiff. A Higgly who always goes with the flow and doesn't let anyone get to him. The only thing that gets to his, that gets his goat is when people insist on asking about the plunger on his head. Just so you know, he's prefer he prefers not to talk about it. Haddock the Fishy. It's believed that Haddock was born from the spirit of a twig that was pulled out into the abyss of, in a riptide. In fact, his single horn is thought to be that twig. It may be frail, but even if it snaps, a new one will probably grow back in its place. Probably. Toril the Torrential. Born from the uh, born from the spirit of a, of, a, of the coral reefs that live that lie, lie in shallow waters, this shy fellow avoids Taurus and, and research alike. Though his telltale antlers make him easy to spot for for the keen-eyed and pure-hearted. Danitifer the damp, a higgledy born from the spirit of dew that collects in the in the in some pretty flowers by the by the side of the road one morning. He is a delicate soul, and it and it feels like he might vanish at any moment. He readily answers the, the prayers of priestesses and can be and can cure curses. Mutton being the mushy, a higgledy who began life in the in a waterlogged swamp. He likes damp places and can happily sit in a puddle for days on end. When he gets peckish, he simply plucks a mushroom from his head and tucks in. Dish dishcloth the dishcloth dishcloth the dragony. This cloth was given life by Bri Brian Skimmer, the kingmaker of Hydropolis, in charge of a. Uh, with uh, guarding the entrance of the abyss. Since only the pure heart are able to see him, he serves as a useful indicator of who should be allowed to enter. Trundle the Tropical, a higgledy born from the beauty of flowers that grow in the tropical climes. G um, give Trundle plenty of water and sunlight, and the flower on his head will come alive. It's also been known to wilt when the weather's bad. Mumby in the Mover, this groovy little higgledy knows how to get a party started, and with a mere wiggle of his tail, Wait, they have tails. Up, uh, he can he he can make e even the most unwilling wallflower feel impelled to hit the dance floor. Apparently, this is a village somewhere of an annual festival inspired by him. Droop the Dredge, a heroic higgledy who saves people in danger of drowning at sea. A famous author once witnessed Droop in action. It was inspired to write a tale of a mermaid pr princess with a lovable higgledy companion. Thanks to this, he amassed a fiercely loyal fan base. Produce the Valiant. A higgledy born uh, from the sword of a knight of legend, he stays, uh, he stays true to the chivalrous traditions and is always ready to fight for honor, justice, or the hand of a fair maiden. He's unfailingly unfail loyal and is, will gladly follow his master into any battle. Clamba Clambunctious the Calm this masked Higgledy is said to be the reincarnation of an ancient sorcerer. He, um, he, can't, he can't talk about it, however, his lips are tight. As his lips are tightly sealed, nonetheless, though he may never speak, he he's an yeah he's an officious nodder, so it's possible to communicate with him. Shrimper's the shanty boy, an old crewmate of Mizzen the Mariners, who uh who yeah who dreams of one day becoming the captain of his own ship. He pays regular visit to to the captain upon Hull, where he uh, gazes longingly at the boats being built. His jaunty sailor uh, sailor's clap often blows away in strong wind. Mizzen the Mariner. This is actually the Haley I probably used the most in my first playthrough. <laughs> now available on YouTube. A buccaneer Higgledy who sails the high seas in search of adventure. Anyone who catches sight of Mizzen is seized by a powerful urge to board the Nierx boat and sail away. And as long as he stays with the ship, the seas guarantee to stay calm. Bathys the Bold. This Higgledy was born after a deep sea diver dropped his helmet and it sank to the bottom of the ocean. Bathys struggles with the weight of his healthy head, he heavy head hefty headgear, and has been known to topple over on occasion. Twinkle the Twee. Born of a, when a beam of, light, of sunlight struck an ancient stone tablet, Twinkle is strong-willed, ambitious, and refuses to let anyone cast a shadow on him. As such, he's very careful about where he stands when people speak to him. <laughs> Jub Jub the Jolly. Jub Jub is a physical manifestation of the joy we feel when someone smiles at us. She herself does not have a smile for everyone, though. She's actually very picky and only likes people with, uh, with, sensible, with sensible haircuts. Bink the Blinky. This adorable Higgledy was born from the, from the blossoms that open, that open when the morning sun, with the morning sun. She's been around since the ancient times, and there are even accounts of her life-giving gifts in, in ancient Nazca, Nazcan tomes. 
Oh no, Nazkin tones. I'm sorry. <laughs> shub the shub the shamatic. Long ago, a shaman who was afraid of the dark made a special mask to keep away any evil spirits that might might be abroad at night. Shub Shub was born from uh, from that mask and is worshipped for for the purity of his light. Though he's uh, he's rather he'd rather people didn't make a fuss. Clangle the Spangly. Her friends are constantly acu um, accusing her of stealing cum yeah, Cummerbund's the Clement's look, and this uh this bothers her greatly as she's repeatedly pointed out his sunglasses are black, whereas hers are tinted brown to avoid glare. They're, they're not the same at all. Obgub the Enlightened. This Higgledee was born from the spirit of a flickering streetlight. Now she travels the the world rekindling lamps that have gone out. But it's not it's not just lights that she um that she concerns with that she's concerned with. And everyone feels deflated or down uh, downhearted. She'll do as she all she can to uh, to call yeah to uh, brighten up their lives. Tilly Lou the Twinkly. In the depths of the forest of Nyal, there are plants that give off a curious twinkling light. This is Tilly, Tilly Lou's doing. Long, long ago, when everyone uh, could see Higgledees, the forest dwellers built a little statue in her honor, and her spirit dwells still there. Kalu the Carabiner A master tactician and stalwart soldier, Kalu is a formidable ally in battle, but he does have, have a, fa a famously short temper. But after even a every anger outburst, he soon re regains his cool, so he, um, so he finds one... Is cool, so he's fine once you learn how to handle him. Whittling the lightning. Lighting, sorry. With his angelic wings and pure heart, why, um, Whittling... No, Whitting, oh my goodness. <laughs> is sometimes thought to be an envoy of the all-powerful god of gods. Like Papa the Pure, even the sight of someone with a cruel or twisted uh, nature is enough to make uh, his goggles crack. Cummerbund the Clement. When people are free from the great weight of worry, a blast of pure energy is released. This is what created Cummerbund, a, uh, a super cool customer who shines so brightly that he has to wear shades. Corette the Sunlit, a higgledy born from the shield a a wielded by a famed knight of the olden days. He, um, he took after that knight and de devoted, his life, devoted his life to doing all he can to help others. Thanks to this, he's always able to bring out the best in his comrades when, he, when, when battle is joined. Venison the Bright. This light um, bringing lovely was uh, was summoned in days of yore by King Tom to protect the wa waterways under Ding Dong Dell, but has sadly fallen a little in obscurity since the new sewers were built. Jumbly the Lovely. A cheerful higgledy who brings joy and happiness wherever she goes. Those who can see her um, her kind will often catch sight of her gam gambling, merrying about the place. And whenever anyone's feeling sad, she's always the first to ride to the rescue. Handsome the Winsome, an enigmatic Hildy born from the heart of a priest who once served the kingmaker of a lost kingdom of Allegoria. The tale of Handsome's epic journey from the west um, with, a, with a, gri yeah, a Grimchilla, a wyvern, and a hedgehound in tow is known by all Higgledy children. Gabardine the Gawker. A Higgledy whose eerie mask seems to beckon onlookers into, into hidden worlds of spirit and sorcery. He is believed to be the reincarnation of an ancient seer, but while his uh, fellow Higgledies find this intimidating, he's actually got a very childish sense of humor. Wangle the Angel A sacred Higgledy who was born from the light which, uh, which a young wizard brought back to the world after it was plunged into darkness many years ago. This tale of hope triumphant... Um, of hope triumphing over despair became a bedtime favorite with children everywhere. Mom the M Mung Mumicent? Hmm. A legendary Higgledy who's been written about since ancient times. No one knows his true nature, but some have poised that um have uh, poised that his uh, light light comes from the god of gods himself. Whatever the truth, none can doubt the overwhelming power of his radiance. Rumpf the wronging. A single beam of moonlight fell on a dreamy young man's bed. Its beauty torched, um, touched his heart, and from the power of emotion, Roth was born. He, his pretty moon bro brooch is a lucky charm that beckons, um, that beckons the blessing of the night. The Ronnody the pooped. The Ronnody was born from uh, from weariness of of um, the staff at Zip's factory in Broadleaf after yet another hundred hour work week. He actually recommends the count, uh, recommends counting Higgledees as a good way to go to sleep. Why not try it next time you have trouble dozing off at night? Tugly the Dingley. 
Puglia was born from the heart of a naughty little girl who refused to go to bed when she was told. She's energized with, uh, with uh, children st when uh, children stay up late reading, but quietly fades, in the view uh, fades from view when the parents catch them at night. Or, no, catch them at it. Tum Tum the Terrible. Her charming white ribbon means her style matches that of Miss Me the Magnificent and Jub Jub the Jolly, but the three of them aren't, aren't related and have never deliberately tried to coordinate their styles. Love pret um, loves pretending uh, she's, uh, she's helpless in order to get what she wants. Manxome the Orksum. At the 14,546 Higgledy Dinge Olymp oh, goodness. Olympiad, Manxmo Manxmo took every single gold medal going. At least her claim uh, at least he claims he did. No other Higgledy has ever heard of the tournament, and Maximone is is refusing to co to comment. Mangledy the Indignity. A shadow a shadowy figure who was um who's who's highly sensitive highly sensitive of the of uh, whether or not uh, things are are in their proper place move a plate and Malia might might just move it back he's ex he's extraordinarily nasty to those who don't like it he doesn't like but he's uh, he he takes a shine t if he takes a shine to you he'll be the sweetest he'll be all sweet sweetness and light tove the tenebrious a mean spirit yeah a mean spirited and little so a mean spirited little so and so who enjoys toying with people's emotions for no reason. The more pure hearted someone is, the more Tove will take pleasure in inflicting pain and distress on them. Basically, not a nice guy. Discomfit the Misfit. Born from the heart of a mighty knight, Discomfit conti um, continue, yeah, continues to uphold noble chivalric values and believes in fairness and righteousness. His tantric and stern and stern of all times. Unless you put a pile of pancakes in front of him, all bets are off then. Dirge the Dismal. A Higgledy who was uh, who was given form by the hatred of all those those in ancient Allegoria who inflicted curses on others. Dirge now regrets all of that unpleasantness and is looking for, to make a fresh start in life. Crooky the Spooky. He is believed to have once been, uh, been an evil dragon in the underworld who took um, who took on this form so he could come to um, to live on the surface. He's actually far less nasty than he looks. Give him a generous slice of big cheesecake and he'll be putty in your hands. Kuranak the Cranky. A very nasty piece of work who stuns foes with his magnificent horns b uh, before skewing them. Doesn't don't be fooled by his angelic wings either. He uses them to lure victims into a false insecurity before slaying them. Gibbet the John Diced. Gibbet re represents the darkness balance of the light of Benison and Benison the Bright brings to the world. He was once summoned to to the magical realm, which has uh, which has now vanished from the world, and fell in love with with uh, with the local delicacy. A curry so spicy it, it made grown men weep. Dimitri the Dastardly, a higgledy said to be uh, the spirit of a sor of a sorcerer brought back to life by black magic. He hunts at night, seeking out souls uh, he can he can he can herd down to the underworld. This is scary, but also strangely cute. He looks a bit like a duck le um, leading, a, leading her ducklings around a pond. Sliffy the Spelunker. An intricate Higgledy who, who has been all around the world in search of adventures in dark caves. In fact, he's the physical manifestation of the spirit of adventure it's, itself. He, lit, um, he never lets anything get in his way and believes that no road is truly impassable. Charnel the Shirlish. A playful Higgledy born from the unease that dwells in all of our hearts. He's actually very kind and canning, but appears when, uh, when people are suffering greatly, eager to give them what, uh, what relief that he can. So it always makes him sad to see them run away screaming. Br Brillig the Dread. Rumors abound that Brillig's origins. Some say that he's a reincarnation of uh, the ruler of the underworld. Others say that he was born when an evil sorcerer tapped into the true power of night. Whole books have been written about him, but surely the stories can't all be true. And finally, Phantasmagoria the Fowl, a legendary Higgledy shrouded in mystery. Experts in the field have theorized that she might have uh, have the she might be the result of a dark energy emitted by the horned ones taken physical form. Others believe um, her to be some kind of evil god, which seems a little harsh. Well, that's all the Higgledies. I hope you folks enjoyed that. And as always, thanks for watching.